Let's take a look at navigating through your class BAF 101. Now when you first get into the class, uh, you will see the announcements. This is how I discuss things with the class. Any information you need to know, I put them in these announcements. So you always want to keep track of the announcements. Your, uh, that my information is here. My office hours, these are virtual office hours, so uh, that's where you can get online and get to me. Uh, we are not allowed at this point in time for you to actually come to my office because of the virus. Okay, uh, we also have tutors. This is a, a list of tutors and how to get a hold of them. Okay, the content tab will be your other primary tab you're going to go to. And, of course, Welcome to BAF 101 has your syllabus and syllabus quiz, etc. that you would have already done. And then it starts in Chapter 1. And the various modules are listed, okay, and the uh, exams are listed as well. So here we have always all the modules are the same. They start out with whatever PowerPoints or videos are always listed first. Then is uh, any other resources that I might have are listed next. And then any uh, homeworks, okay? Uh, quizzes might also be in here. I don't have that many quizzes yet. I may be adding some quizzes this, this summer to it. For right now, um, your homework, you have three homework assignments related to Chapter 1. So there's Chapter 1, Part 1, and Chapter 1, Part 2, and Chapter 1, Part 3. Each one tells you what you need to do. So Chapter 1, Part 1 says, see financial planning exercises in the back of Chapter 1. Complete number 5 and 6. Type your answers on Word and submit here. And then there's a little instruction there about getting into the ebook so that you can find this uh, financial planning exercises number 5 and 6. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. So you need, I do not have this class because it's often taught by others, do not have this class set up where you click and you go straight in uh, to Cengage. So you'll have to put in uh, Cengage.com and you'll come in, you'll have to sign in. Now you'll need to make sure that you use uh, your D2L address because whatever other, you've got a Cengage Unlimited subscription and whatever cl other classes you have or will have on that will more than likely run through D2L. So you need your D2L email and your D2L password is what you need to set up uh, when you do this class. Now you will not see a screen like this. This is a faculty screen. But you should go into some kind of dashboard where it shows your various classes. All right, um, now you can see over to the right this blue icon that looks like a book. And you can click on that. You can then make it a fuller screen. Okay. And so this is your ebook. Okay. 
and TOC stands for table of contents up in the upper left corner you can do that and so that first one we needed in chapter one so we'll go to chapter one it says chapter one we'll scroll on down to the bottom and it says financial planning exercises that's what we need financial planning exercises most of your homework is in that section and we need um we need number five and number six so here's number five impact of ec economic environment on financial planning number six financial impact of career decisions also there was another one that you were supposed to use number two is a starting point for so you'll have to look at that as well okay so you find you get into the book you go to financial planning exercises you see which ones you need you make your answers up in word or excel and then you upload uh you upload those So once you get done with that number five or six, uh, when you click on, on this, it will have an upload button that you can upload your answer. And you would go down to chapter one, part two. Now here it talks about careers. So this has nothing, this isn't part of your book. This is where you have to research careers. You need to go to uh, the Bureau of labor statistics bls.gov and um, look up information about salaries and etc for those uh, career choices you're going to talk to me about the pros and cons and what skills would you need you know how much education do you need etc and you're going to write that information up into word and upload your answer here how successful you are in a career is going to have a huge impact on your personal finances throughout your life so right now you're here in college this is why you're here uh, to hopefully get a career so let's research the careers as much as you can because this has a lot to do with your personal life and uh, chapter one part three and uh, determine your personal goals uh, as in problem number two in the financial planning exercises so um, uh, you go back to where I showed you and you're gonna um, uh, make up a list perhaps in Excel about your goals and then you're gonna go through your goals and make sure they're smart goals and they they talk about this in chapter one uh, what smart goals means and uh, how to make your goals into SMART goals. And so you'll do that, and you can type those up on Excel or Word and upload them here. And you would then be done with Chapter 1, and you would go on through. And it tells you what dates these things are due. So this first one is due uh, June 8th, and the next two are due on June 10th so the dates are spread out all through the semester so you'll have to keep track if you are going on vacation or doing something uh where you're going to be gone or unavailable t with internet or something then you'll most likely need to make sure you try to get the homework done ahead of time uh, before you leave if you need to do something later the sooner you get a hold of me um the better and i can help rearrange uh some dates for you now basically that's all you need with this class is that uh, home page with the announcements and this is in the content tab and you'll just go through and do each thing uh, as you come to it now when you come to the exam the exams in this class are all online um, and uh, they're all true false multiple choice questions uh, exam one part one 
covers chapter one, exam one, part two, covers chapter two, exam one, part three, covers chapter three. So um, you should, um, it, it does have a lot of stuff that comes from reading the chapters. So you're going, or, and, or going through the PowerPoints very closely. So a lot of true, false, multiple choice questions dealing with vocabulary and basic concepts that are in the book or in the PowerPoints. So this is not a class you can just get in and try to figure out something for the homework and you're good to go. Okay, you are going to have to read the book or at the very least, you're going to have to go closely through those PowerPoints or videos that I put up for you to be able to um, get through the exams. Um, this is one of the more difficult parts of this. Even though the exam questions are not that difficult, um, I do get students who don't succeed in this class because they don't want to read the book. Okay, or know that stuff that then, then they're going to have to know. The exams are a pretty hefty part of your grade. There are um, three exams, and then the last chapters are all on, well, actually, let's see. Okay, yeah, there is exam, exam three. Okay, so... Um, and then you have the rest of the chapters all are on these personal financial plans. So you have for personal financial plan part one and personal financial plan part two. And so uh, those are like a project and you have to do the project um, and that takes the place of your final exam, those two parts of the project. Now here it says test four, but if you look at it, it says there is no test for this section. It is covered by the project. So you have the project to do, part one and part two. Uh, part one of the project uh, is due on July 25th. And then the second part of the project, which includes some of the, the last uh, few chapters, and that is due on August 5th, okay? So you're going to want to, once you get past exam three, you're going to want to, for the rest of these, you still need, even though you don't maybe have to read them as closely, you're still going to need to read those chapters or look at the PowerPoints so that you know how to do the um, personal financial plan. There will probably be some quizzes, even though the quizzes won't be a as weighty as exams. Still, there will be some quizzes for those chapters as well. So you might be able to skim through those chapters a little more lightly, perhaps, than uh some of the earlier chapters where you have exams, uh, but um, you will still need to do that. Okay, uh, besides the home page uh, where your announcements are in this content tab, another tab you might want to use is email. You Some of these tabs you don't have on your screen. Uh, the assessments tab, uh, you can uh, look at your assignments there as opposed to the content tab. Uh, you can take a look at, get into any quizzes there, and you can look at your grades there. If you have any questions about how things should flow, and again, if you've got questions or uh, anything about your schedule for the summer, um, then please let me know so that we can make sure ahead of time that everything is in order.